When the Grand Champion level bot Nexto came to life in the Rocket League scene, there was a huge surge in pros and content creators, including myself, giving the bots a try in 1v1, 2v2, and 3v3. Now, Nexto is good, but there was always conversation about whether or not we'd see a bot capable of matching up against SSL level players or even pros. Well, meet Ultrawide GC, a Rocket League player and programmer who designed Seer, a brand new bot able to do just that. Definitely check out his channels as he live streams matches against Seer and posts videos of its progress. Today I'm playing Seer v4, which has only trained in 1v1 and is the best 1v1 bot in the world right now, even compared to Seer v6, which is really good at 2v2 and 3v3, but loses to its younger brother. I'm going to play three matches against Seer v4 and talk about its strengths and weaknesses, because wow, this thing is good. Let's get right into it. Hope you guys enjoy. All right, the first ever 1v1 against Seer v4 for me. Let's see how it goes. Okay, he did like a weird delayed uh, kickoff. Um... I'm wondering if that's what he's always going to do. Because I don't want to just take advantage of that kickoff. He might be changing it up. Oh, he's still doing the delayed kickoff. He's going to save that, though, for sure. I might just shoot this. Okay, we're very lucky they didn't get that on target. He was probably going to shoot that if I don't jump. He's going to force me into a lot of awkward positions like this. What a flick. I gotta start conserving boost. He's gonna have control over this whole corner here. Let's pop it up, unfortunately. Try and grab a few boost pads. Oh my goodness. What a flick. How much I could do there? I was very basically st starved off of uh, kickoff. Very weird kickoff. So I wonder why he's doing that every time almost. I think I can go for this early and maybe confuse him. He did wait though. Gonna go immediately. Go around him a little bit. I keep him under pressure here. Get a demo. I can probably turn this in really quickly if I if I can get it around the the wall, but unfortunately it kind of landed weird. We missed. Demo him again. I'm gonna have to take advantage of demos as much as I can because he's gonna be uh, all over the ball. I don't understand these kickoffs. I don't think he can turn it in, so he's going to try and flick it and then go for the corner boost, probably, yeah. He does take the ball. I am forcing him back a little bit. I'm going to try and get a demo or something or bump him a little bit. And it's in my net. Ugh! He jumped perfectly over my demo while he got the flick over the ball, too. So it was everything everything at once, so the whole package. Okay. All right, Seer. I see how it is. I'm not, okay, I, I was going to say, I'm going to have to start challenging him, but if you challenge him like that, he's going to flick it over as, as high as possible every time. That's why you can't really challenge him. I just wanted to show that because if you go for those challenges, he will just perfectly pop it over you. These kickoffs are something else. He does wait under the ball. He has nothing. I don't think he could... Yeah, he can't really react to the very, very delayed shots. Those are going to be hard for him to get a read on when I'm going for those shots because there's no way that any human being or, like, Rocket League car in general can get to that ball in time. It's just not possible. There are some limitations to the body. He can't, he can't react to that perfectly. He's just going up to bump me. Okay, I don't mind that at all. It looks like he's, like, trying to force me to jump, and then if I don't jump, he bumps me a little bit and takes the ball back and resets. Oh, I couldn't crossbar it. Dang it, man. He just gets a perfect flick over me. Okay, he's grabbing that corner. He's going to grab this corner. He's hitting it backwards. He lost control of the ball a little bit. He's taking it all the way back corner. Nice. I think we caught him out. Oh, I didn't get the, I didn't get the cut, though. You can't react to that one. I definitely should have scored that one chip, but I was too afraid of him coming back really quickly and, and making a pinch out, out to the side. Like, I'm not going to lie. This, this straight up just feels like I'm playing, like, SSL 1v1. I, I can't I can't challenge that. Okay, I'm going to try and put this in a position where he can't really challenge. He's, I've got possession now. I got it over him. Let's go. This actually just straight up feels like I'm playing competitive ones right now. <laughs> Except they're actually better. 
and smarter. All right, let's see if we can keep this lead, though. What in the kickoff, man? What are these? Stop it! I need to start, like, if he's going to fake, I just need to pop the ball over him. He might jump, though. Like, that's what I'm worried about. If I go for, like, a jump or, like, a pop, he might just... He might just uh, pop the ball over me on his touch. All right, that was a decent play there. He uh, tried to read the first touch. He actually almost reacted well enough to get to it, too. That wasn't the greatest flip reset. I tried to get a bump on him afterwards, but he he waited on the floor, actually. I thought he was going to go sidewall, but I guess that's probably really awkward for the bot to go up the wall like that. I cannot describe to you what these kickoffs are. <laughs> Like, he's making me force this out, which is totally fine. Like, he's going to get possession, but at least I get, like, 100 boost. Hoping to mess with him a little bit. Maybe take this across. I got the boost in the ball. Wait, he's going to turn this. Oh, gosh. Good. Two goals up. See if we can get a double here. Oh, no. Okay. Why did I get risky? He's actually like waiting for me. <laughs> man, you're the one on you're, you're the one that needs time, man. I don't know what you're doing. He could have just scored that so fast. I'm gonna fake the kickoff and see what he does. Wait, that's cheese. That's so cheese. So because he speed flips to the kickoff, he ends up using too much boost and ends up just popping it to me. I'm not gonna try that again unless Let's see if it's like repeatable. Okay, he does pop it. I did give him the ball, though, unfortunately. Oh, okay, he's getting flustered. There's no time left. I think he does take into account... Uh, oh, my gosh. I think he does take into account the time left. Which seems to help me, because if he's flustered... Well, not really flustered. You know what I mean, though. Like, if he does need time and goals, uh, he will start to play a little faster and do things that are a little more aggressive. so weird that he does that. That's like maybe the only like big explodable thing. The kickoffs and, and those where he just drives into me over and over again. And if I don't jump, he does just he does just like bump into me and then sometimes r r like go back on. Oh, he's actually keeping this up. Bruh. Go away. <laughs> Let's get one more on him. Can we get one more? Okay, he almost read the musty too. Like he he actually like can see that being a possibility, which is kind of scary. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. But not bad. Six to nine for the bot. We win the game. Definitely scary though. Alright, next game we got. Uh We'll have to see if he changes anything. We'll, we'll see if we I, I also just said let next game we got as if I'm playing ranked. Because I actually thought I was playing like a ranked opponent. That's how. Ooh, I faked him. Let's go. Like he's actually good enough to be like this is why the the bot isn't public because it is actually good enough to basically take over ranked like obviously he's not doing anything any ceiling plays and stuff like he is just playing grounded play but i've always been an advocate of the fact that like in rocket league you, stop that in, in rocket league you don't need to have fancy mechanics to win like this is this will beat almost every player only time he struggles is stuff like this where he pops the ball off the wall um, which you can take advantage of. I, I really think that there are like small openings, but otherwise he's very solid. Like what are the, dude, I'm telling you, like I've always been an advocate for fake kickoffs and this man or this bot is doing more than I've ever seen anybody do. Okay, he's going to stay with this and maybe turn this in right away. Yep. Uh. What do you got? Stop it. But you've never seen this one before. The double fake Rooney. It's fine. It's fine again. It's not fine. <laughs> and I knew, I knew he was just gonna keep popping it to keep it away from me. That is, like if if a player did that to me, I'd be I would uninstall. That's how good that play is. All right, I have space here. I don't think he saved these. Yeah, he needs to go back corner there. There's nothing he can really do. Okay, see, I had to be careful there because he was actually just going to go into mid. Like, he's, it's funny. He was like, you can have it if you score that. Oh, don't do this again to me. 
What a double pop. That was so smart. I tried to do the thing where I make him drive into me. This time he actually popped it over me. And no, a lot of people think that they're like learning during this. This isn't them training. It's a current version that has been applied. They're not like learning from this 1v1 match. Like they're not that smart. Like they're smart, but they can't like actively learn on the spot. I might go for a demo on me. Yeah, I knew it. It's smart to go for that. He actually bumped me too. He actually bumped me. Okay, I wasn't sure if they he did that. That's actually really smart. I was like, he might bump me here, but I'm not sure if he's able to like separate the ball from the bump play. But yeah, he does actually take me out. These kickoffs are so weird. Like they, it seems to just work out for him. I need to stop giving him space. Okay, I do get the the save. Now he's gonna take it all the way back. I try to get the corner boost. So I'm gonna take this mid. Bump him off. This mid boost is gonna spawn for him. He's gonna stay with it. Let's pop it up pretty high though. I'm gonna fake this so he just jumps for it. And say like once again, he's just playing to outplay me. I just threw the ball in mid. Uh oh. I gotta be really careful of him bumping me too. And here he goes again. Perfectly dribbling it around. Oh my gosh. And he's just dwindling down my boost. Stop it, bro. Stop it. It's <laughs> a good 50. Up at him. Let's go. Huge. No, that's my boost. He does have limitations in that position on the wall. He d okay, so I think that like if he can learn to properly defend the power spike that comes out of wall shots. Man, he's going to be tough. Tough to fight. Once again, the uh, he might try to go for this mid. I'm gonna try and pop it forward like that so he doesn't go for it. What a powerful shot! It's not in, but <laughs> now it is. Oh man, I should have went for. The I thought it was gonna be corner and out. That's why I went to the left. But I should have just went for where the straight bounce was. He is so good at those fake kickoffs. Okay, I, I mean he doesn't have any boosts left, so I mean I know that I can score those when he when he overcommits like that. But like the bot thought it could score it fast enough, so that's why it went for it, which is so weird because that's so human. It's like so like it still makes like like calculated mistakes if that makes sense. I mean, just it's just clinical. I shouldn't have done that because he was just going to go up the wall. Like, that was that was kind of obvious. Look at his shots, by the way. Like, I'm usually a player who has way more shots than the opponent. Like, I'm very, like, pressure heavy. That might just be in. They didn't expect the, the corner bounce uh, off the post. I've seen apparently Jack do that a lot, too. I like to do that where I po uh, post bounce it. And, like, like look, he thought I was going to clear to the corner just like a human would. And then immediately gets punished. But it's like so weird that that's. I'm starting to think we're in a simulation, bro. <laughs> I'm backing out. I'm out. What are you doing over here? Yes. Outplay the bot. Let's see if I can score this. He might just waste all of his boost. Man, that is crazy. Like, he thought to go for that. And ran out of boost just like a person. I'm telling you, this is so weird. His kickoffs are just perfect. It's so imperfectly perfect. I, I can't quite understand it. I need to start doing fakes myself. And it's the way that I outplay it. If I play a kickoff like normal, it's not going to work. But if I go like this, and then like also do this, at least he can't like immediately score. Cause... Never mind, he can. <gasps> okay, dude. Kickoff merchant. What are these kickoffs, dude? <laughs> Guys, if you want to have the best kickoff in the world, I guess that's the way to do it. Okay, come on. You got to defend that. What are you doing, Seer? I kind of want to save a replay and, like, look at what he's doing on all these corners. Like, he's actually reacting perfectly to the where the ball's, like, 
spin either side. Is he on this? No, you oh my. He's low. He's make a different decision based on the low. Oh my god, dude. If a player did this to me, I'd be so tilted. I mean, it, the fact that it's a bot, like, is fine, but, like, it's 16 shots. He might win this one. He missed the bo the boost, though. So, I'm popping up nice and high over the goal. He has to make a save here. Wait, he actually just tossed? <laughs> Wait, he just tossed. What? Okay, that's 2-0 for me. I really thought that was going to be him, because if he got control there, there's probably no way I save it with my low boost there. Let's keep it going. Nine shots, nine goals. 50% accuracy is not even that bad, considering what he's doing with like all of like, his little pops that he does over the net. All right, game three. Let's see if I can pop this up. He has no boost. I'm going to try and set with him. And he sits the boost perfectly. Like That's so good. He, sits, he actually makes me sit under on top of him. Oh boy. What are you gonna do? Oh, okay. I gotta pick up the pace, because he's just gonna start doing that. Bump him a little bit. Now he is a little bit no not nose blind, but he's a little bit like I don't know what the word I guess it's nose blind to like when I'm gonna be bumping him and stuff. He's very good at noticing when he's gonna bump me, or like when he can bump me, but he's very like blind to like when I'm going for it. Like right here. Like he's dead set on the ball. I could have demoed him there. I just didn't hit him. There, I did like a bigger break check than usual, and that made him go. I'm gonna fake the jump. He's gonna pop it up. Hit it towards target. Hopefully, he doesn't catch that and take the boost right away. He's gonna go for the corner boost. Pop it over him. Yeah, his wall touches. Like, those are the spots that I find that I can get the most openings. Like, whenever he pops the ball into the wall, it just seems to confuse him a little bit like he's trying to make me back off i think dude these case <laughs> okay, swear to god <laughs> what are these kickoffs it's weird because the more i respect him the more dangerous he is i'll fake the flick there we go he's so low so i can get the ball really high here and i think he can't jump up to it yeah he's very low so he's trying to like keep himself on any any ball here that he can so as long as i keep him starved i think i'm okay I might pop, pop this out i'm not really sure what he does in these situations when he's low Cause he's trying to make a play where he can get some boost. So I think he just found a space to get away from the ball. Let's see if he does, deals with this though. Okay, he still reads it if it's slow. What a save. <laughs> Dude, he's insane. He's recovering better than most players. Like, he lands perfectly with his wheels down. Gets another save. It wasn't like a clear to the corner, but like, I, I, like a player at my caliber would definitely clear out to the corner. Like, I would, I'm not, like, trying to praise him to the point where, like, okay, he's going to flick that in. Um, you know, he's not better than players in every situation. As far as offense goes, the when, like, he has pressure, he is pretty strong. Yeah, see, these kickoffs, like, they do have their downsides. If we can get, like, a good solid double touch off of the ball, he seems to fail a little bit. But the, these kick, I'm going to try something different. Yeah, so that does work. So if I just go around the ball at a speed flip, like, he does just... Okay. Now, I will say, I did 1v1 this guy, like, this bot for, like, a minute. And he scored, like, three or four goals on me when I was uh, just making sure the bot worked with um, Ultra Wide. And then I, I needed to warm up. But, like, he will catch you by surprise. Like that. Stop that. He's backwards. He doesn't like that I went for that, actually. I can tell. He, doesn't, he likes that I went for that, though. <laughs> Such an overcommit. He punishes overcommits so well, because, like, there's no reason I should die for that. He has, he has possession. There's, like, a weird bubble in this game when you're playing, like, what possession is, right? It's not like it has to be attached to your car. Tell me how that's not, a, like, a, like, a bump. I can't go for boost here. He's going to turn it immediately. But I can time the... I was going to say, I can time the boost. 
but he ended up bumping me. What happens if I'm just like right here? No. Stop it. Stop it. Okay, I'm getting a little I'm getting a little frustrated here. I'm getting him a little frustrated. I'm, I'm not getting frustrated, but I'm getting him a little frustrated with the way that he's turning on everything. I'm making shots really early. Go for a flick. It's against the wall. Bump him a little bit. Bump him again. He can't do anything here. Never mind, he can score. I tried to bump him again, but he turned. He actually used a little bit of boost and went around me. Let's see this. Right there. Yeah, that's that's actually crazy that he avoided me. No, stop the kickoffs, man. Nice save from him. I have to go really high on that. Like, he's definitely beating me. Okay, I can play the boost advantage now and see what happens. I popped this up so high, he might not go for the corner, the mid boost right away. He does go for it. Oh, he messed up. I'm telling you, the wall plays are where it's at. Like, every time I get, like, a, a pop off the wall, he doesn't know how to, like, jump off the wall to properly touch the ball. Like, his mechanics aren't incredible. His decision-making is, like, some of the best I've ever seen. But there's, there's some, uh... There's some openings. Definitely not easy. I, I am really looking forward to trying the 2v2 uh, bot. Like, like I said in the intro, this is actually a better bot than the V6, which will be the 2v2 bot. Uh, this this Seer V4 is only trained in 1v1, so it's very, very good at finding openings and finding positions where you can take out the uh, the opponent. The fact that he was avoiding bumps and, and like grabbing boost to starve me in certain situations is just crazy. Like, I don't know how, like, what is really in the code. Is it... Did he learn that over time? I'm assuming he did, but there might be some like not hard coded things, but just some things. I'll have to ask uh, Ultra White. I'll pro and, and maybe you'll you guys have, will know already because I, I'm asking this in the future for me. But I wonder if there are some things in the code that are like okay, if you are in a position like this, go grab the corner boost and starve the opponent. Like I, I, obviously, like that's I don't think that's the case, but I'm I'm interested to see how it how it thought its way through finding those positions where it can start start to starve me and now we've got a puck on double goal for some reason exhibition you know you never this game never uh fails to surprise me but i hope you guys enjoyed definitely a lot of fun oh this is why i guess this, these are my settings um i hope you guys enjoyed it was definitely really t tough and i hope to uh do the 2v2 soon against seer maybe with rapid um but he's been kind of busy so let me know what you guys want to see with the bots. Wait, maybe we can do some other things with the bots i want to kind of like hack against the bot too which would be really fun we can do like something where I kind of mess with the bot and see if it handles certain things like different ball speeds and stuff. Um, but yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. Until next time, have a great day and I'll catch you guys in the next one.